In a second, I'm going to run this program. I just want to go through the code with you so you can see this. Uh, here's, I'm going to key in FTP and then my address, my local address, 127.0.0.1. And then it'll tell me I'm connected to 127.0.0.1, and it'll ask me for my username, which will be this name, George Bull. I'll key in George Bull, hit enter, then it'll ask me for a password, and then I'll hit enter again, because I don't have a password. And then I'm going to key in this, I'm going to key this in get. Now it immediately knows I want to get a file. And it'll say remote file. And I'll key in bool.txt. That's the name of my file. Okay, when I bring it down to your local computer, what file do you want to name? Do you want to give it? What will be the local file name? And I'll key in george.txt or some other name. Doesn't matter. And I'll hit enter. Then it will say port command is successful. It's transfer. Transfer is okay. Then I'm going to key in buy. And it'll log me off. That's how this goes. Then I'm going to do a dir of george.txt and bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, there it is. Over here. I'll do a dir. And it'll show up over here. Okay, that's basically what we're going to do. Well, let me bring up the command prompt. And I'll start keying in the commands. FTP 127.0.0.1 And it will ask for the name George Bull. Enter. Password none. I hit enter. Now I'm at the prompt. What do I do? Get. What's the name of the remote file? Bool.txt. What will be the local <coughs> Excuse me. What will be the local file name? Let's call it uh, George2.txt. Port command is successful. Transfer is OK. I'm at the FTP prompt. I key in the word buy. I'm logged off. I clear off my screen. I'm going to go looking for this file, George2.txt. I type I do a dir of george dot george two dot txt and there he is. Surprise, surprise, surprise. If I can type george two dot txt, I'll see the contents of that file. This is a test. I hope you like it. Bye. And that's it. That's how you use FTP. Um. From the command line. Now we'll use it with Python. And I'll do that in the next lesson. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Wolf. Bye bye.